Hello, everyone. I am recording on my laptop, so <laughs> that's probably why it looks like I'm in a hostage video, but it's not. It's just on my laptop, um, because I've been trying to record on my phone, but I don't have enough space. Because I have like 5,000 pictures on my phone. Um, so I'm recording on my laptop. That's why if the quality's bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. But <clears throat> in this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, two things. One is Without Merit. This book right here. And it's by Colleen Hoover. I'm going to be doing like my thoughts on it. I personally love this book. Um... And to my surprise, I looked up reviews on it, and not a lot of people did. But I, like, this is one of my favorites from her, besides Rarity. Um, so I'm going to be talking about this, and I'm going to be talking about the Elvis movie. And I changed the name to my YouTube channel, just because I want to talk about more stuff than movies. So it's now called Jazzy's Corner, or Jasmine's Corner. <laughs> but... Yes, so I'm going to be talking about um, Without Merit, and I like recording my laptop, so now I can look at my notes. <laughs> so this is a book by uh, Colleen Hoover. Um, I was first introduced to uh, Colleen Hoover's books by my best friend Emily. Shout out to Emily. <laughs> and I first read Variety, and that was so good. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm going to be uh, do a br brief overview of the plot. And the plot is, it's about, uh, well, the main character, her name is Merit, and she lives with her dysfunctional ass family, <laughs> her, it's the boss family, and it's about, like, family dramas, secrets, um, it, she does, Colleen Hoover does, like, tackle a lot of, like, dark themes in this book, like, uh, suicide, um, like, she deal she talks a lot about dark themes and the main critique I saw that people oh sorry there was a pop up on my computer that they didn't feel like she tackled like each of the dark theme well but I thought she did. Um and myself coming from like because Merritt kinda lives with her blended family and I thought that she wrote like about blended families like so well like because she lives with her dad and then Merritt lives with her dad and then her stepmom named Victoria which the stepmom's name is Victoria and then the mom's name is Victoria which is crazy oh <laughs> and her half-brother Moby and I thought as she wrote about like depression really well um I think this is that's kind of why I, this is my favorite book from her is because it deals like it just felt true ring true to me so, and I love in her books that, like, the cover deals, like, with the story. Um, I won't give too much spoilers away. Um, but yeah, like, this cover happens in the book, and I, that's, like, whoa, cool, man. <laughs> um, <clears throat> man, you know, it's a video of mine if I be clearing my throat. <laughs> um, and, uh, so I'm going to talk about, and they live, the Foss family, another crazy, like this book, a lot of crazy shit happens in this book, but one of the things is that they lived, they live in like a renovated church, their, their dad, Merritt's dad had beef with this pastor, and then he moved away, and he decided to buy the church for them to live in, so like the, there's like a cruise, is a crucifix of Jesus and like in their like kitchen or something and Merritt always dresses it up. <laughs> I thought that was so great. And then like the brother Utah, he always changes like the slogan like on the on their yard. That like that I've never read a book like where they live in a like church like that. It was so freaking crazy. Um and she just has like a way of like writing and it, that like keeps you hooked because before reading her books i used to read a lot in middle school a little bit in high school but then college beat my ass and i stopped um but then like her like their her books are like 
easy to read, but I hate saying that because it makes it sound like the writing is good, but it's, I think her, she does a great balance of, like, writing simply, but then adding, like, metaphors, and, like, I think she has a nice balance of being, like, not, like, having a lot of language, but not being hard to understand. <laughs> and, in this book, the character, the main love interest, Sagan, he draws, and there are some of the drawings in the book, which I really liked. So I'll get into the characters. There's Mary and I love, and all of, and all of her other books too. I love the names that she chooses. I'm, I'm <laughs> sorry about that. My mom walked in. <laughs> so on but like I love the names she picks um so there's Merit uh, and then uh she's a twin um so there's Merit, Honor, Utah they're the three like they have the same mom and same dad and then there's half brother named Moby which <laughs> I think is kind of a silly name and then there's a guy named Luck which I just brain blasted him um and he's an interesting like character to the story and then Sagan which I, like, I love Sagan. I thought, because Merit backstory is, uh, Sagan was originally friends with Honor, and then Merit thought that they were a thing, but he, they're not, they weren't obviously a thing, but then Sag Sagan obviously has feelings for Merit. But I think Mer Sagan is a good, like, character to the story, because he, keeps Merritt calm, and in his backstory, <coughs> he's kind of is sad too, um, he, his family is from Syria, and he's a Syrian, Syrian refugee, um, I hope I said that right, um, but yeah, his, his story is like, it kind of makes Merritt realize, you know, everyone has, like, don't go comparing your trouble with others, but, <coughs> kind of makes her realize that, you know, even her, her family's fucked up, I'm not gonna lie, but she's like, you know, she just feels bad for Sagan. <laughs> but, <clears throat> overall, um, this book, it, a lot of interesting stuff happens, um, even though, um, it's kind of predictable at times, I just love how she handles it. The only thing is, um, when I read a book, it makes it easier for me if I can see who's, like, playing the characters. And the thing with this book, I couldn't really, I didn't really have a good mental image of who were playing who. I did think the good actress for Merit would be the Grace Van Damme, and she played Gracie in Stranger Things. I thought, she would be a good merit and honor. Um, but other than that, I had a hard time, like, picturing who would play each of the characters. But there are, they're really, um, well drawn out characters. Um, and this book, it took me like four days to finish. Overall, <coughs> I give this, uh, 8.5 beans out of 10 beans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I, and I'm, I'm gonna review her other books, but this, this one, uh, besides Verity, and it ends with us, top tier in my opinion. And now, I'm gonna talk about the Elvis movie. Um, the Elvis movie was so freaking good. Honestly, before going in, I knew who Elvis was, but my mom's an Elvis fan, but I wasn't really, like, that big into his music. But I, from the moment I saw the trailer and I saw Austin Butler, I was like, we have to see it. <laughs> he, like, he did such a good job. Like, in my mind, I was like, wow, like, thinking Elvis instead of, like, he just, like, totally, like, captures, I believe, his spirit. And he doesn't overact. He steals the show. I thought you could just see the dedication. And... It's one of those things, like, people know Elvis, so if there's anything that's, like, remotely off, um, like, it just takes, takes you out of the experience. 
But I thought he did such a great job. Like, I am an Austin Butler stan now. <laughs> I just thought, like, his, the accent, the clothing, um, the attention to detail on, like, his, like, whole life specifically. I thought, Mwah. wow. <laughs> Even though this movie's long, and I think it kind of does that on purpose to show you, like, because towards the end of the movie, Elvis has to do all these shows, and I think the movie is long on purpose to show, like, his ex exhaustion through his, like, life. Because he had a crazy-ass life. Even though, like, the movie is good, I don't like that Elvis married his, like, he met Priscilla when she was, like, 14. That's nasty as fuck to me. I don't fuck with that part. But... <laughs> <laughs> but it was a great movie, but I feel like it kind of glossed over that detail. I don't know. But to this day, Priscilla still says she loves him, but I think she's groomed by him. But I, I don't fuck with that part. But the movie itself, I thought, was um, really like good. The director, Baz uh, Lehrman. I'm not good at pronouncing names. I thought he, like, he has a distinctive directive style, and he, sh like, showed that in his film. Um, again, I love the, the costumes or the wardrobe. I thought it did a good job of showing how, like, the fans reacted to Elvis. Like, that was a big part of the film. Tom Hanks, like, I felt like they focused a lot on Austin Butler's prosthetics, but kind of forgot, <laughs> kind of forgot him. He was good at it. I just, he was kind of goofy at times. <laughs> he was like, he was kind of like, he was adding the camp to it. <laughs> but I thought the actress who played Elvis's mom looked just like the mom. It was crazy. And I cried when, when his mom died. Um, and I like that it showed, like, how she impacted the relationship. And I thought the the soundtrack was really good. I, um, I liked the Doja Cat song, like, by itself. Because I thought, like, it was cool uh, mixing the old song, the Hound Dog song, with her. I thought that was really cool. But in the movie, I'm not sure if it really worked for me. It kind of took me out of the experience a little bit. But... Overall, I thought the soundtrack was good, and Austin Butler did a great job singing. <sighs> it was a really, like, it was a really good, good biopic. Um, I think out of the biopics, especially the music one, it kind of answered for all of, like, what was needed in a music biofilm, and, you know, didn't shy away from it, but yeah. Elvis was very good. <laughs> but, yes, it, I'm glad to be back on uh, YouTube. Um, and sorry again for the quality <laughs> of my laptop. <laughs> um, I hope to get a new video camera soon. But thank you guys for watching, of course. And I hope everyone has a nice day. And like and comment and subscribe if you enjoy this. <laughs> Bye-bye.